I'm rolling out 60 different strategies. Take it from 60 different YouTube channels in 60 days. If you're looking for a high action, low risk strategy, this might be just the one. Hey, my name is Joe and this is my Craps Master Journey. Let's make it yours too. Hey, today's strategy is taken from Uncle Angelo's YouTube channel and it's called Craps High Action Low Risk Safest Method I Have Ever Invented Color Up With This System. It has over 19,000 views and it was filmed back in June of 2019. It's a, a strategy that has lots of moving parts, lots of chips moving. Like you said, high action, low risk. And what we're doing is we're starting off with a $500 bankroll. And I'm going to kind of explain the strategy as I roll it out. So what he does is he starts off with a $50 don't pass bet. He goes with a $100 lay 10. He goes with $7 hop 10, and I have no hop bets on my table, so we're going to go put a hop bet right there. And he also does a $3 yo, yo 11. So we're going to put that on the E right here. Okay, so let's just kind of walk through these, these bets here and see what happens with what. The don't pass bet, again, like I said, he has $50 to start off with. And obviously that's going to win if a 2 or a 3 is rolled on to come out. It's going to lose if a 7 or 11 is rolled on to come out. And it's going to be put a push or a bar or a tie on 12 if this box cars comes out. This lay 10 right here is going to get paid out if the 7 is rolled on that roll on that come out roll. And it's going to lose if that 10 is rolled. Keep in mind that casinos charge a $5 VIG for that. The casino that I play with, I actually had to put out the $100 away, 10 and they also take $5 right away. Uh, I pay, pay the big up front. Some casinos will charge a big only on the win. Now, if you pay the big up on front, most of the casinos will pay that $5 back. So, for example, we're doing a come out late 10 and when I take that late 10 off on the second roll, they'll give me that $5 back. So, it's definitely actually 100 take that way 10 off. The Yo 11, the E here, is the same thing as if you're playing the Horn Yo, which pays $15 for every $1. That being said, should the Yo 11, uh, or if, it, if the 11 rolls, the Yo rolls, will get paid out $45. The last portion of this bet, and again, like I said, there's a lot of stuff that's up on this table. The last portion of this bet is that hop 10. We have $7 on that hop 10. And what we're doing with this now is, let's break this down a little bit further here. Let's get five singles. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll take this five off. And I'll show you how this actually pays out for that. So like I said, we have $7 on the hop 10 and three of the dollars one two and three are going to be put on in case the five five rolls so the hard 10 rolls and what happens with that is it's going to pay out 30 dollars for every one dollar bet up here so if the hard 10 rolls we get 150 dollars obviously um, we would lose delay bets, so that's going to more than, you know, cover that or take care of that. The other $4 here is going to be on the 4-6 or the 6-4, whichever way you want to look at it once. And that's going to pay out $15 for every dollar bet up there. So we have $4 up there. There's going to be $60. <clears throat> Obviously, we're going to lose a little bit of money then in that transfer. We're going to lose about $40 or so. But hey, we still have some kind of protection, some kind of hedging involved in that rollout. Okay, so we have, again, like I said, $50 don't pass to start. We have a $3 yo 11. We have a $100 late 10. We have $7 on a hot 10. Okay, let's come out and look for a point. Okay, and we have a 617. Okay, so what's going to happen with this is we're going to lose that yo 11. We're going to lose that top 10. And we're going to lose that don't pass. So all of that goes into the bank. And 
what we're going to win on now is we're going to win on this uh, 10. I'm sorry, the, the late 10. And we're going to get paid up $50 for that $5 vig. So we're going to lose that $5 also. But we still get to keep that $100. So that kind of hedges basically what we're doing is we're hedging that don't pass out. And um, the rest of it is kind of a, a loss. But hey, that's the risk that we got to do. Again, you know, what are the numbers that, that roll, you know? Um, the seven, you know, we'll roll six times for every 36 rolls. Then we get five times, four times, and three times. So that means that three out of every 36 rolls will be a 10. And when we were, you know, t hedging that hard 10 and the easy 10, that's going to be, you know, um, a good payout. But hey, that doesn't matter because it was 617. So we're going to go back up again. Hundred dollars on there. We're gonna go back up fifty dollars on that yo. Or on that don't pass. We're gonna go up three dollars on the yo, and we're going to put a seven dollar hop ten out there again. And coming up, looking for a point two on three. So what's gonna happen here is we're gonna lose that yo eleven. We're gonna lose that hop ten. So that's all lost. But what happens is we get paid out on that don't pass. So we actually made a little bit of money off by that one. And that took care of what we lost here plus what we lost on that last round. So let's just wrap that 50 bucks up. And we're going to go back up again. $3 on the O. And $7 on the hop 10. Still looking for a point. Two on three. Lose this, lose this. We get paid out over here again. So that time we made a little bit of money yet. Still looking for that point. This is good. It's kind of a long come out roll here. Three dollars, yo eleven. Two dollars on the half ten. I'm sorry, seven dollars on half ten. Look for that point. And finally, we got a point. We have a two, two, four. So our puck is going to go over to the four. What's going to happen is we're going to lose that yo 11. And we're going to lose that hop 10. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that lay 10 off. Uh, we have a point established here. Now we're going to go with two units across all of the open numbers. So two units across and all the open numbers would be $10 on that five. $12 on that 6, 12 on the 8, and 10 on the 9, 10 on the 10. So since it's a 4, and that would be the same if, if the point was a 10, but since the point is 4, what we're going to do is we're going to put out $6, and we're going to hop that $6. Okay? And again, I'm going to get some singles here just so I can show you what's happening here. Five singles for this 5. Okay, so we have six dollars hopping on that four. And what's going to happen now is we're going to put two dollars on the hard ten, hop hard ten, which pays out 30 to one. Okay, so if that would hit, the five five would hit, we could pay out 60 dollars. We're going to put the other four dollars on one three. So if the one three or the three one rolls, that pays out $15 for every $1 under. So that's going to pay out $60. So either way, we're covered with a $60 protection. Okay. The next part of the strategy is rolling out until the big red comes. Or until a point is hit. And what we do is the first four times that these numbers here hit, we're going to do a full press across this. Uh, on that number in specific and in, in particular let me show you how it works so we have a five three eight so it's an easy eight uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna lose this hop and again like i said that was six dollars so we're gonna go back up on the hop for six dollars and our eight gets paid out there's two units on there so that pays out fourteen dollars so what really happened here, guys? We actually made $8,000 because we're putting 6 back up on here again. But anyhow, we're going to take this and we're going to do a full press up. We'll go up uh, 
two more units, so we're going to take two hours and put it in our rack. Okay, so now we're at four units on that eight. Again, that was hit number one. Dice out. We have a two on three. That does nothing for the strategy other than we lose that hop, so we go right back up again on the hop. Ops, six dollars over there. We have a five, four, nine. So that nine right here is going to pay out fourteen dollars. This is our second hit. Okay, and we're going to go up ten dollars on that. Uh, let's do this one. So let's drop a, a penny, and we're going to go up to a quarter on that. So let's make that look like a quarter. Okay, that was hit number two. Uh, again, we lose that. We're going to go back up on that hop four. Okay, and dice out. And we have a 6612 box cars. Nothing happens out here except that we lose that hop bet. And he keeps on going up with this hop bet. Because um, what we're doing is we're trying to protect ourselves against that four should it hit. Looking for hit number three here, and there it is. Okay, we have a three one four. So, what happens is that is our point, puck comes off. We're gonna lose that, don't pass, but hey, we're gonna get paid out on that hop uh, four. So, we're gonna get paid out on the one three, which three of these dollars was designated toward that. Toward that. So, let me change this out here once one, two, three, four, five. So if you look at that, three of those dollars were on the one three or the three uh, one, and I'm sorry, four dollars was. I'm sorry, that my mistake. Four dollars was, and then two dollars was on that hard way. So what's going to happen is we're going to lose the two dollar hard way hop four, but we're going to get paid out on the four dollar one, and again that pays out fifteen for every one dollar on there. So we're going to get paid out sixty dollars. So actually what happens now is we're actually making $5 off that bet. So we're going to replace that $5 over here. We're going to take this and replace that. We actually made $8 on there. We're going to take this off right now because we're on a come out roll. All of our bets are turned off during the come out roll. So everything out here is turned off. Our don't pass is working. Looking for a point. Back on that four, three, one, four. Okay, and we're going to go back up with a hop. All of our bets are back up. Again, we have two hits, so we're looking for two more hits yet before we can continue on our strategy. Six, two, eight. Again, that eight has four units on there, so that's uh, $24 up there. That pays out $28. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do a full freeze. And twenty-four dollars. One. So let's go to let's do this one. So let's change that that quarter off for nickels. Two, three, four, five. I'll put them in a rack. Okay, and let's throw out another penny. So we're gonna go out four more units on that eight. So now we have eight units on there, okay? And eight units is actually $48 on that eight. So we're kind of towering it up right now. Again, we only have one more hit here. So um, we're going to lose that hop five, hop four. So we're going to go back up on there again. Everything should be set. Looking for one more hit here before we can go on to the next part of strategy. And here we go. Two, two, four. Hit that four again. So the puck comes off. I'm going to change out one, two, three, four, five, so we can make this look right here. We had six dollars hopped over here. And again, like I said, two of those dollars were on the hard four. The other four dollars were on that easy four, the soft four. So we lose that. And what's going to happen now is we're going to get paid out sixty dollars on that hard four hop. Okay, we also lost that don't pass because that was our point. So what that's going to allow us to do is we're just going to allow us to go back up here. 
we're going to take these hops off. So we're racking that. And that was, we're still looking for that fourth hit. So we're looking for a point now. Everything on here is turned off. Doing that it's working is our don't pass. And we have a 336 hard six. So that's going to be our new point. So what we're going to do, we're going to take that $12. We're going to move $10 over onto the hard four. And now, if the six or the eight is the point, we're going to hop that for $10 every time. Okay. And let's break this down so you know what $10 goes to. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Dollar hop, four dollar hop, and a two dollar hop. The two dollars goes in case it's a hard six. So if it's a three three or hard six, it'll pay out thirty dollars for every one dollar bet up here. So that'll pay us sixty dollars. The other two combinations that we're going to protect against is the one five and the two six. So this will be the one five or five one. This is the two six or the I'm sorry, the 2 4 or 4 2. So, what's going to happen is these will pay out $15 for every $1 bet. Again, $60. So, each one of the ops are going to pay out for $60. So, we have $10 hop, 6. And I'm going to put $10 out here again so you guys know. And I'm going to put these singles up here because I need, I will need singles eventually, anyhow. So, again, looking for one more hit here, and then we can go on to the next part of strategy. And we have a 437. So, we didn't get that far with that, okay? So, what happens is we are going to lose all of this up here. Okay? But we get paid up $50 there. Two, three, four, five. And this will come over here. I'm sorry. I'm silly. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. No, that was right. That was right. $25 and $25. Okay. Good. Puck comes off and we're going to start on over. So that was kind of a long explanation for a shooter one. Let's roll this out and we'll go with a shooter number two here and see if we can pick this up and pace a little bit. Okay. Looking for a point. We have got... $50 on the don't pass, $3 on the yo 11, we've got $100 on the late 10, $5 vig for that, and we're going to go with a $7 hop 10. Okay, so we have all four components out to start off with, looking for that point and coming out. And we have 5, 4, 9, so our point is going to be 9. We're going to take this lay uh, 10 off. We get the $105 back. We're going to lose that half 5 or half 10. We're going to lose that yellow 11. Now we're going to go back out with two units on all the open numbers. It's 10 on the 4, 5, 12 on the 6, and 8, 10 on that 10. Since the point is a 9, and that's the last one we did not go through, the 5 and the 9 pay out different, uh, we use different hop numbers, so we're going to use $8 on that 9 or the 5, so we're going to hop $8 every time that we come up on this. And we should be all set up and ready to go for the thing, for the strategy. And we have a 2 on 3, does nothing out here, we're going to lose that $8. Go back up again, $8 hop, hop 9, and dice out. We have a 426. This is hit number 1. That 2 units is going to pay out $14. Okay, we're going to lose that hop. And what's going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go up 2 more units on the hop 6. We have total 4 6. We're going to rack... Uh, four units, so we're going to rack the two dollars. Again, we're going to put a hop out here, and that hop is going to be eight dollars. And dice out six one seven. Okay, everything comes off. Short rolls, hey guys, short rolls. 
thumbs off. We get paid out one, two, three, four, five, fifty bucks. So we're gonna be down eh, about twenty dollars here. Okay, and looking for a point again. So we're gonna go hundred dollars in five. Hundred dollar way ten, five dollar big. We're gonna go with a three dollar yo eleven. And we're going to go with a $7 hop 10. And let's go dice up. Looking for a point. 1, 1, 2. And we're going to lose this. We're going to lose this. But hey, we get paid out $50 on that don't pass. And let's do this one. So let's pick up some pennies here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10, 20, and 25. Now we have some pennies, some pennies to do our strategy with. Okay, so again, what we're doing is we're going to put three dollars up on that. The 11, we're going to do seven dollars was wrong seven dollars on that half ten during the come out looking for a point and we have a one one two this is not a great day to be doing this strategy guys because hey it is hard to explain it so we lose all that stuff and we are going to get paid out fifty dollars on that don't pass okay again three dollars on the 11 Seven dollars on a half ten. Good for a point. <laughs> Four three seven. This is a extremely extremely cold table, guys. We lose all this. Okay, we lose that five dollar big, but we get paid out fifty dollars on the hard ten. So we are down basically fifteen dollars on that shooter. Okay, coming back up again. $50 on our 10, $100 away 10 with a $5 big, we're going to go $3 on that yellow 11, $7 on our hop 10, and dice it. Finally, we got a point, 3 2 5 So our puck is on the 5, we're going to take this away 10 down, Vic comes back to us, we're going to lose the hot uh, Yo, 11, we're going to lose that hop 10. And we are going to go with two units. And let's do this one. So I'm going to pick up some nickels here. One, two, three, four, five. That's $50 worth. Okay, we are going to put two units on all the open numbers. And again, like I said, six, eight, six, eight, ten. So we're going to go with eight dollars on a hop on this. Okay, everything should be set up. And we're trying to get to the second part of this strategy here yet, and <laughs> can't do it. Four, three, seven. We're going to lose all of this. Okay, but we are going to get paid out on that don't pass. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and fifty dollars. Oops. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's fifty. Good. Perfect. And this all comes back to the bank. Okay. Last time through here, guys. Puck is off. We're going to go with the $100 lay 10, $5 big, $3 on that yo 11, and $7 on the hop 10. And I sell 527. We're going to lose this, we're going to lose this, we're going to lose that, and this. 
This right here gets paid out fifty dollars. And we are gonna pick up some pennies again. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go through a lot of pennies, a lot of singles here, guys. Okay, so that's twenty-five dollars. Four. This goes back down on don't pass. Again, this is gonna be a five dollar big up here. And we're gonna go with a three dollar yellow eleven. Seven dollars on that top ten. Okay, so three two five. So finally we got a point. The point is gonna be five. This hop hard, um, I'm sorry, late 10, and the big comes back down. It comes back to us. We're going to lose the 11 and with that hop 10. Okay, we're going to go with two units on all the open numbers. One, two, 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 one, two, one, two. And we're going to put caps on that six and the eight. And we're going to go with a six dollar, nope, sorry. Eight dollar top five. Okay, let's see if we can get a little bit of distance on this roll here, guys. <laughs> five to seven, it is not. Okay, hey, let's do this one. So let's take it off, and I will explain the rest of the strategy here um, so that simply we can keep this video a little bit shorter. But before we're done here, we're gonna lose all this stuff up here. You pay out 50 dollars here, two, three, four, five. And this is what we lose. This is what we win. This in our rack. Again, we start off with five hundred dollars. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Seventy-five, eighty-five, ninety. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Yes, 75, 85, 90, 100. We actually made, after all of that, guys, $2. But hey, the second part of the strategy is taking, uh, going through, doing everything that we did, and taking four hits. Once you get the four hits, we're going to take all that money off because we're going to full press every time a number hits. We're going to take all that money off. Now we're actually going to start back over at two units on each of the open numbers. So, for example, on that one row we had, um, we had this towered up like, I think, $48, and we had a quarter on, on the nine. So what would happen is we would have taken all these back down to two units after we got that fourth hit. And then we would go back again, try to get four more hits, and then we would reduce all of our bets back down to the two units. So that way what happens is you're starting to collect and you're starting to press. Press to make some money and you're starting to collect uh, to get some money back in your rack. This is kind of a grinder strategy. It is a high action, low risk. Lots of chips moving around. But hey, if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Also, if you also like these videos here, hey, look to this side over here. I have a link to all the other craft strategies that I have done. Hey, my name is Joe, and this is my Crafts Master Journey. Let's make it yours, too.